It was a strike that was as quick as it was unexpected. When the Afghan Taliban leader, Mullah Akhtar Mansour, was obliterated by an American drone, he was near the town of Ahmed Wal. He was in Pakistan, but near to the Afghan border, an area thought to be off limits for US drones. But in swiftly appointing Habibatullah Akunzada as the new Afghan Taliban leader, the killing may not have caused the turmoil in the ranks that the Americans had hoped for. It does nothing, however, for US-Pakistan relations. This drone strike was a violation of Pakistan's sovereignty. We have conveyed our serious concern to the United States on this issue. Meaning students in the Pashtun language, the Taliban began under Mullah Omar in the mid-1990s. Afghanistan had fallen into chaos after the Soviet withdrawal in 1989. Various Mujahideen factions fought for control. The Taliban began with less than 50 armed men from religious schools in Afghanistan and Pakistan. Spreading from Kandahar, they eventually ruled 90% of the country until the US-led coalition removed them from power in 2001. In the years since, like any organization, the Taliban has had power struggles and disharmony in the ranks. A year ago, it emerged that the founder, Mullah Omar, had been dead for two years, that Mullah Mansour and others had been issuing decrees in his name while hiding news of his death. Mansour worked hard to head off challenges to his ascent. The Afghan Taliban has made strong battlefield gains against government forces in recent months, driving back troops from key positions and launching a string of bombings in Kabul. As a new leader was announced last week, they claimed responsibility for a suicide bombing in the capital that killed 11 people. There was an understanding that a new consensus leader was needed swiftly to quickly re-establish harmony. Mansour himself had refused to participate in the peace process initiated by the Afghan president Ashraf Ghani that included Pakistan, the United States and China. Analysts suggest the change in leadership would do little to shift the group's policy. The leader did as a very important point for Taliban. Hardliner Taliban, this Taliban will be stronger inside the Taliban. But is the decapitation of the Taliban leader likely to improve Afghanistan's security problems? Or could it create more difficulties than it actually solves? Francis Collings, The Newsmakers.